Hi everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Ram Mounts Power Plate 3 magnetic holder. This is the RAP-300-1. This mount is typically going to be used to hold devices such as radar detectors, electronic toll passes, or even satellite radios. The way that this works, you have two rectangles here. There's a larger black plastic rectangle on the outside, a smaller red metal rectangle on the inside. Those are two separate pieces. The red rectangle is inside of the black. On the other side, those two gold pieces you see there are actually magnets. They're very strong magnets. They're holding that small red metal plate in place. Now, that red that you're seeing is actually uh, just a layer on there that peels off, and when we peel it off, it's going to expose adhesive underneath. So that plate will attach to whatever device you're mounting with the adhesive. It'll attach to that plate, and the plate is being held in place by the magnets. On the bottom as well, you have that circular shape, that circular hole pattern there. And that is designed to accommodate this piece, RAM-B-202, which is a round plate with a 1-inch B-size ball. This piece does not come with the Power Plate 3 mount. This is purchased separately or as part of a bundle. But what you can do is line up those two parts. The round plate will bolt onto the power plate. You'll have your device mounted on top and a 1-inch ball on the bottom, which you can then use to mount this to other RAM 1-inch B-size ball components. So what we'll do now is we'll take a look at how to attach this round plate to the bottom of the power plate. The first thing you're going to do is just slide that red rectangle right off. And when you do, those magnets are going to fall right out the bottom. So just push that forward or off to the side. And those will just, whoops, those will just come right off. Uh, you can put that red plate off to the side. We're done with that for now. So we'll separate the magnets and drop those back into the bottom of the power plate. Two sides to the magnets. One has very straight edges, kind of a dull color to it. The other side a little bit more rounded, more of a bright gold color. And you want that bright gold color facing up toward you. So drop the magnets in there and make sure be careful because they might jump out at you, try to escape. So just be careful when you're doing that. Drop those magnets in there one at a time. And now you are going to take that round plate and line that up. Whoops. Line that up with the hole pattern on the bottom of the power plate. So there's four holes on that plate will line up with the whole pattern on the round plate. So get those all lined up. Now you're going to take the hardware that came with. This came with four nuts and four bolts. So take one of the bolts, drop that in from the flat side, from the side of the flat plate. And you can take one of the nuts now and get that started onto the other side. Just get that started by hand, thread it on there a little bit. And once you get that thread started, you are going to need to take a wrench and a screwdriver. You're going to need the, uh, the wrench or something to hold the nut in place there. So you can hold that on there, take the screwdriver, and get that tightened up the rest of the way, good and tight. So we have one on there now. That's what that looks like with the first one done. And we're going to pause here for a second and get the three remaining nuts and bolts attached to the power plate three. So I've now finished mounting the round plate to the power plate three. I have that one inch B size ball now mounted on the bottom and I'm ready to complete the rest of my mount. So now we're going to take the adhesive plate that I showed you earlier, this small red rectangle. Uh, again, that red coating comes off, there's adhesive underneath, and you have that black metal on the other side. So you'll take whatever device you are mounting, which today we have this deck of cards. Deck of cards because it's about the same size as many radar detectors or electronic toll passes. So take whatever device you're mounting. You want to make sure that the surface that the adhesive is going on is clean and dry. Uh, the adhesive that you're going to put on there is pretty strong stuff, and you really only get one shot at it. So make sure clean and dry before you put it on. The good news is that if you do happen to make a mistake, if you need to try it again, this plate that I am holding is sold separately, so you can buy an extra one or two if you need it. So there are actually three layers to this plate. There's the red layer, the outer layer, a black layer on the bottom, and a gray layer in the middle. And the gray layer in the middle is actually going to stay with the metal part of the plate, with the black part. 
and you're going to get your fingernail or your thumbnail in there and just peel off the red layer and just pull that all the way off and that gray adhesive is going to stay on there. You can discard that red part. So take the adhesive and you want to get that centered on whatever you're mounting and get it on there. Make sure that it is pressed down good and tight on there. And that's about all you need to do. You're now ready to use this with the rest of your Power Plate 3. We're now ready to use all of these parts together. So here is our power plate base from before. You have the round plate attached to the bottom and the two magnets underneath it. We can take our deck of cards with the adhesive plate and just attach that right to the base. And the magnets are going to take over and hold everything in place here. The plastic base does have some grooves in it, so make sure when you put your device on there, everything is centered and aligned. To remove your device from the power plate base, just grab hold of the sides. You're going to twist and slide it off at the same time. As I mentioned a moment ago, you can purchase that adhesive plate separately, which means you can keep the base mounted in one location, like on your motorcycle or in a vehicle. Purchase a few of these plates, and you can put them on different devices and just swap them in and out. Take one device off, put another one on. The last thing we are going to do here today is we're going to get a bar set up here and show this to you as part of a U-bolt mount. So here I have my U-bolt base, such as you would find on the handlebars of a motorcycle. It has a 1-inch B-size ball on it, and onto that ball I can put an arm like this standard length B-socket arm. Into the open socket I can put the 1-inch ball from the bottom of the power plate mount, and then I can adjust it as needed. When I'm happy with it, just tighten up the knob on the side of the arm. And now I can take my deck of cards with that adhesive plate on the bottom, drop that onto the power plate base, make sure everything is centered in the grooves there, and I'm all set to go. So that is a quick look at the Ram Mount's Power Plate 3 magnetic mount. This is the RAP-300-1.